Well, it's time for our final segment. And yes, I just clear my throat on air. But anyhow, <laughs> it's time for Health Matters. We have Shine in the studio. Let's see what's going on with her. Good morning, Shine. How are you? Good morning. I'm how, good. How was your weekend? Uh, on Saturday, it was a special Saturday for me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There was a Christmas bazaar at um, Hyundai. Oh, organized right. Organized by uh-huh. Busan Biwa. International. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I performed Zumba dance with my team Ooh. to help raise fun. And it was 20 minute long performance, the longest performance <gasps> I've ever had. Wow. And it was lots of fun. We met a lot of people and mm-hmm. it really felt like Christmas. Wow. So this is a, a yearly event that's put on a Biwa and they do this to um, actually, uh, the proceeds go to a different kind of charity every year. And so um, were there a lot of people there? It was so crowded. Oh. <laughs> and there were so many kids. It it really felt like Christmas because there was families. Mm, mm, it mm. wasn't just like, you know, expats, just, mm-hmm. just teachers, but there were also families from yes. school. So, mm. yeah, it really felt like Christmas. Very cool mm. indeed. So it is definitely December. Um, you know, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, it's Christmas season, but it's definitely the end of the year. So that means there's lots of things going on, right? Yeah. I have events lined up every weekend from now on mm-hmm. this month. And, and I'm sure many of our listeners have year-end parties at least like two, three times this month. Mm-hmm. And it makes it very difficult to maintain healthy lifestyle. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I would have to say probably the the most difficult time of year is this time of year. You have a busy schedule and then you're eating out a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Eating out, away chic. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, all of these heshiks, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today, I would like to talk about alcohol and fitness. Oh. Things don't really go together. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, but how to stay fit during mm-hmm. party season. Okay. So um, is it possible to stay fit while you drink? Well, I would say yes, Mm. but if you drink too much and too often and just completely give up on fitness during this month, Mm -hmm. it'll be very difficult for you to be back in shape later on. So my ultimate suggestion is not to give up on fitness this Mm -hmm. month Mm -hmm. so you can head start on your New Year's fitness resolution. Okay. Well, uh, we all know that alcohol, at least consuming too much of it, is not good for for our health, but what about in terms of fitness? Well, alcohol adds extra calories to your daily consumption. Okay. One gram of alcohol has seven calories, while one gram of carbohydrates or protein has four calories each. Mm. So it's more than protein or carbohydrate. Right. Uh, well, to give you a better understanding, so make a picture of a glass of wine. Okay. Has similar calories to a slice of cake. Ooh. A pint of beer has similar calories to a slice of pizza. <gasps> mm. And three sets of sozu has similar calories to a half bowl of rice. Three wow. sets goes down really easy, but... I know, I was going to yeah. say, <laughs> when you put it in that perspective, mm-hmm. it makes it a lot easier for you kind of do the calculations like uh, beer, slice mm. of pizza, and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and then a lot of people say... But a lot of people say, oh, well, like alcohol is empty calories. It doesn't really store in my body. I just, you know, go to the bathroom mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that's fine. But well, I, would, I would like to say alcohol does make you gain weight mm-hmm. in this way. So your body cannot store calories from alcohol for later okay. as other like food does. Mm-hmm. So when, you're, when you drink, your metabolism system stops. Oh, what's going on? Like what's uh-huh. what it's doing? Mm-hmm. So let's say you worked out and your your body is breaking down the calories and like burning the calories. Everything stops. Okay, and make you go to the bathroom, mm. saying break me first. Like I'm calorie from alcohol. Break me first. <laughs> Take care of me first. So you go to the bathroom and then you do all that. And what's gonna what's your what you ate for dinner? Right. Or you ate last yesterday, we'll just store as fat. Ah, okay. So, so. it's not really the calories itself mm-hmm. from the alcohol, but mm-hmm. what it does to your body. Oh, that's really important. Mm-hmm. And not just that, um, you know, when you drink, I mean, don't you eat lots of like anju, like those appetizers or side dishes? Yeah, well, we can, we can do this game. Chicken and... Beer. And worse. Hamgyopsal and... 
like I guess soju. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> well, pajan and makgeolli. Right, 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 right. Well, what what do you do with wine or mm. steak or cheese? You know, <sighs> usually food that is high in fat and calories. Mm, true, true, true. And Korea has this culture culture <laughs> to go like second and third round to mm. different food and alcohol, and it usually starts with dinner. Yes. And goes on until like midnight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you will easily consume more than 1,000 calories each round. <gasps> oh, because, I shudder at the thought. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's so common uh, here in Korea. Uh, but how else does alcohol affect us, mm-hmm. uh, aside from, you know, daily consumption and fitness? Yeah, well, after drinking, you may fall asleep faster than usual. You just, mm-hmm. like, you just fall asleep. Right. But the quality of your sleep is not as good. Oh. And that's one of the reasons why you feel not rested in the morning. You feel terrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's from hangover, but the right. part of it is the lack of sleep. Okay. The lack of good sleep. Ah, I mean. oh, okay. Well, alcohol can prevent a restorative deep sleep, mm-hmm. which is needed to feel rested. Right. And your body to recover. Okay. And lack of rest can impair muscle recovery. And even if you manage to drag yourself to the gym after a night of party, Mm -hmm. your workout will suffer. I see. So definitely Mm -hmm. it affects your sleep. You're not getting the good deep sleep that you need. Mm. And um, is it better not to exercise then after a night of drinking? Or I don't know, what should we do? I would say you still exercise, Mm -hmm. but with some caution. So as your body is dehydrated from alcohol, yes, you may get muscle cramping if you exercise too hard. Mm-hmm. So I don't advise you to go like swimming or hiking, like hard exercise, ah. uh, which could be dangerous. Okay. Uh, so I think taking a walk outside with a bottle of water for about 20 to 30 minutes maybe is mm-hmm. better than just staying in bed. Ah, so okay. your body can circulate, yes. uh, be better circulate. Mm-hmm. And getting some fresh air and drinking water would help you feel better and detox faster. You want to get it out of your body, right? Mm-hmm. So just mm-hmm. do not just stay in bed. Just mm. get some exercise and drink lots of water with it. Okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe you can give us uh, some like, you know, to practical t- practical tips to get Mm. through this month of December. Yep. First of all, when you are drinking and eating, Mm -hmm. be aware of the portion and set a limit for yourself. Ah. So like, for example, if you're eating fried chicken and beer, Mm. maybe place like three three or four pieces of chicken on your plate, Mm -hmm. on your own plate, and limit your beer consumption to like maybe two, two glasses. Maybe. Ah, so three glasses. If yeah. you put the chicken, like whatever you're going to eat ahead of time on your plate, mm-hmm. you know, that's it. Don't yeah, reach for it. more. Okay. And then and just slow down. Mm. Eat slow and drink slow. <laughs> Socialize with people. Talk a lot. Yeah. Right. And, and stick with your stick with your control. Okay. Okay. But I know that's mm-hmm. not the most of case. <laughs> Even if you ended up drinking too much or like eating too much. Yes. And feeling hangover next day. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Don't give up on staying fit. So what can we do? Yeah, drink lots of water. Stay active to kind of detox. Mm-hmm. And try to eat healthier for the next couple of days. Okay. It's better than giving up until New Year. No, no, okay. we don't want that. Don't give up. Mm-hmm. And lastly, mm-hmm. take, take care of your health. Okay. It might not be the best se- best season to be in better shape. Right. <laughs> but try your best to take care of your body mm-hmm. with enough rest and regular physical activity so you don't get sick. Ah, that's very you're important busy too. And you know, you're not getting any rest and mm-hmm. you may get sick very easily. That's true so and it's so cold, body. right? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for sharing a uh, real great tips on 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 how to drink if you have to and stay still relatively fit throughout the season. And of course, we'll check in with you next week for more um, health matters. Thank you, Shine. Thank you. Bye-bye.